And to continue, down to bottom, we have the status bar. Okay? The status bar, at the left, we have the module space. So currently, we are in the module space as our drawing area. We have additional tabs here. Layout, layout. So layout 1, layout 2, we call them the paper space. In the model space, this is where we draw our drawings. In the paper space, this is where we lay out, we annotate our drawings. And we shall be discussing paper space in the coming tutorials. Um, press Ctrl 0 to bring out those uh, cluttered hieroglyphs. Ctrl 0 to bring out that. Okay. This model layout, uh, layout can also be accessed here if you hover a bit on the uh, file tab. Okay? This is the drawing file tab for our current drawing. If I have another drawing, I just click here. And as I have discussed before on the uh, startup of Autodesk, once I click to create a new, the initial default template that I've used for drawing one will be replicated in this. So uh, I started drawing one using ACAD ISO.DWT. So, I'm sure that drawing 1 is also in ACAD ISO.DWT. So, let's check. Go to application menu, utilities, and then units. It must be in millimeters. So, all in good. I'm following my own rules. Okay? And you may notice, this one has no asterisk. This one has an asterisk. This indicates that I have modified this drawing and have not yet saved it. Okay? So, do a uh, superhero command. So, click uh, save. So, control S. And then, there it's gone. Okay? So, those are some visual cues so that you'd know that, oh, I have not saved yet my drawing. I need to become a superhero. And again, I repeat, once I hover over the file tab, the model layout and layout tabs will appear. Okay? So it's just uh, hovering over the file tabs. So control zero again to remove those hieroglyphs. It does, it's bothering me. Okay, it's much cleaner again. And uh, on the right part of the stats bar, we have our toggle switches. Okay? So currently we are in module uh, space. And when we change to layout, it will change to paper. My God, sorry. It will change to paper space. Okay, so back to model space. We have here toggle switches. You can hover over that and then the shortcut function keys will appear. Okay, so this grid mode. So you can see there are grids on my uh, drawing space. So when I click this one, it will turn off. And no grids. So once I click it, it will uh, turn on. And there your grids. And this one is for Ortho mode or F8. So currently, I am in Ortho mode, meaning my uh, lines. For example, let's start creating a line. So L again, enter, then create a line. It is restricted to move in orthogonal mode. Okay? So it's either in 90 degrees, 0 degrees, 180 degrees or 270 degrees. Okay? So, that's our two mode. Let's uh, turn that off by pressing, what's the shortcut again? That's F8. Hover over it, and there, it's F8. So, click F8 to toggle off the auto mode. And there, you are free to uh, create a lines in any direction you like. Okay? But sometimes, uh, I, I love to work in F8. To create uh, precise vertical and horizontal lines in F8. And sometimes, I uh, get out from F8, I turn it off to create other directional lines. And then enter. Okay? After auto mode, we have polar tracking, which could also be toggled on or off through your function key F10. 
This is a uh, useful tool, especially when you are working with angles. So let's try its functionality by clicking its icon or just by pressing F10. You will notice that once I click on the polar tracking icon, it automatically turns off the auto mode uh, functionality of your AutoCAD. So this is similar or same with auto mode. Once I click on auto mode, it will automatically shut off or turn off turn off the polar tracking. So let's turn on the polar tracking again. And once toggled on, start AutoCAD or invoke AutoCAD to do a line command. So type L, enter. Okay, so start anywhere in your drawing area for the first point. And drag your cursor towards the east direction. Okay, once I move a little bit to the north or to the south, you would notice that my cursor is being constrained to the zero degree direction and the green dash line appears that line signifies your temporary uh, alignment path which is uh, by default uh, set at a 90 degree increment so once i move my cursor towards the north of course it is being constrained at every 90 degree increment so from zero from the east towards the north 90 towards the West, we have 180 degrees, and of course, towards the south, we have 270 degrees. So it's still 90 degree uh, increments. Now press escape, and uh, let's try to set it to a different angle. Let's say 30 degree increment. So just right click on the color tracking icon. So right click, and then find there the 30 degree increment so 30 60 90 and so on and so forth so click on that now start again a line command and click anywhere for its first point then drag it this time towards the west direction again notice what is uh, written on the tooltip the first number after the word polar is the distance or the length of the line you're making so you would notice that it uh, originates from uh, zero and it increases in size or length and of course next after the distance is your of course angle which is uh, implied through the symbol angle moving around your cursor You'd notice it is now being constrained at every 30 degree increments. So, 0, 30, 60, 90, and so on. And just press escape to cancel for now. And right click again the polar tracking and let's go and ch uh, check or click on uh, tracking settings. In here you could uh, adjust the or add additional angles for your uh, angle increments. And then just click new. But for now we will not be doing it. Just click on cancel. Cancel. 